On the road, me, let's take a long walk around the park after dark. Find a spot for us to spark conversation, verbal elation, stimulation. Real name, mm -hmm. you know, and people that are watching this, they do know you know that's not your real name, and mm -hmm. I'm sure a lot of your fans want to know, or your lovers, whatever you want to call them. You know, some people don't like to call them fans, but um, Sunshine. where did the name? Oh, that's cute. Sunshine, you make it your call them? Yes, yes, yes. yes Sunshine. Okay. okay, that's cute. <laughs> so, where did you get the name? Where did it originate from? So, Azan originated from. First, Zen, which came from Alexandria, mm -hmm. but I didn't want to stick with the Zen because the rapper came out Lil Zen. And then people were literally, like I had some producers actually email me, was like, hey, are you the real, you're, you're the one that the Lil Zen? I'm like, mm-mm, I don't want to be associated. Like, you know, we two different. I'm a singer, he's a rapper. So I was like, okay, well, how can I incorporate like my Creole language, like the ah uh, with the thing at the top mm -hmm. is pronounced well, all it's A, but it's pronounced all. So okay. Azan, and then you know, I'm just doing a little A because my name starts with A. You know? Right, boom, 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 it, it went, it went, and yeah. then your last name is Heisen. It's Heisen, so, so people skip the O L. <laughs> you know, so it, but it goes. Yes. It's like really cute. Like oh, I like the girl, name. Girl, it's very it. and it's appealing to the eye. Like it's different. Mm, thank you, girl. So, you know, I want to get a little e if we get a little deep, get a little deep okay. about you know what was your childhood like? You know, growing up, like how was it for you? Um, it was very interesting. Mm -hmm. Um, so like my family was really close. Like me and my brothers was close, but mm -hmm. like, you know, I guess like after my parents had like divorced and stuff when I was like four, they kind of like made everybody separated. So like that's what kind of made me a little bit more independent because mm -hmm. I didn't really have that many people to really depend on like that. You know what I mean? Like everybody was kind of like. In different cities like you know like i'm from austin i was born in austin so like that's where my people are and where all my little brothers are at so it was like kind of like you know but we try to stick together so now we have we all have the closest bond like ever okay like, so we all how many tight. brothers do you have five so, wait, I, I did not know that, girl. Are you the only girl? Yeah, I'm the only I girl. I did not know that this whole time. And that's why I grew up like a tomboy because I don't have a little rough. Like, <laughs> I had to like find a whole bunch of dudes. So yeah. I was like, yeah, you know. That's crazy. I did not know you had that many siblings. Yeah, wow. Some babies. Are you the youngest? Or? Oh, no. So, you're like the middle. So. Let's see. I, so, my, my older brother, then it's me. That's my little brother, he's 15, and then I have another little brother, he's 16, and then I have two babies, which is two and one. Yes. <laughs> and I was like, okay, I have to count them down the line. But yeah, okay. My daddy is a... Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sip on that. <laughs> Sip on it's that. Not <laughs> So, you know, your childhood and everything, you know, you said you had five brothers and, you know, the whole divorce or whatever. Mm -hmm. Did you, okay, when did you know, like, you knew how to sing or that you had a gift? Like, did you always know you could sing? How did that come about? Mm, I feel like, this is going to be kind of weird to explain. So, <laughs> okay, so, like, when I was, like, younger, like, music really touched me emotionally, so mm -hmm. I feel like... I always was connected like like internally yeah. with music but like the first time i kind of knew that people was actually enjoying my voice like before i really knew what, like what good singing was i just knew what what touched me i knew it made yeah. me cry i knew it made, right. made me happy so like i was in sixth grade and i did a talent show with uh two of my friends 
And like, as soon as like I started doing my verse, like, you know, I'm a little girl, but everybody was like clapping, like they were starting to get into it. And I was like, oh, I can, okay, I, guess I can do a little song too, you know what I mean? And so like, it was cool because everybody enjoyed it. And like, just when I hear people say like, you know, you make me, you know, I, when I hear your voice, it makes me smile. It brings my spirits up. That really like, you know, that's, like, okay. that's good, girl. That's crazy. So you didn't even know, like, so do we run in your family? Do anybody else know how to sing? Anybody else? musically yeah you know. like so my mom's mom well she told me she was like an opera singer singer in louisiana but like i don't know i ain't never really like asked too much into like you know i just knew like she sung and like my uncle he plays the trumpet so i don't know about like singers wise you know but everybody mostly plays that's instruments though, you know so. usually they say it's <laughs> in the family or something yeah. you know that's that's crazy. It was just literally a gift <laughs> given. It, it was literally a gift given to you, girl, because you oh, can't really sing. Like, you can be oh, chill. Okay, so you already told me where you was from. Yes. You're from Austin. and But when did you move to Dallas slash Cedar Hill area? Like, when did you move out here? Mm, let's see. I lived in Lancaster. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, like, you know, I, don't get me wrong. I'm here for, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. all my people's but. You know, it was, I had some interesting experiences living out there for some years. But, anywho, so I moved to Dallas when I was 14. Oh, okay. So, like, right after freshman year, that was, like, my third high school. Okay, so that's why I didn't know you from, like, before then. And, uh -huh, okay, like, I know <laughs> Like, bro, staring at me like everybody had their own little group, yeah. you know what I mean? Because they all like y'all grew up together. Yeah. It was like weird. And I was like, hey, Simone. <laughs> I was like, can hey, I, can I get okay. a friend? Okay. Okay. <laughs> but like, she was actually the first girl I met that was crazy. Simone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, Simone, girl. Hi, girl. <laughs> Hi, step sister. Right, okay. Your okay. first performance in Dallas or like in Austin? Like, when you said about that talent show, was this your first performance? Mm-hmm. Well, in sixth grade, Austin. Austin. Okay. Mm -hmm. In middle school. And then I did another one in freshman year in ninth grade. And then senior year, senior year. Okay. Like, oh, hi. Yes. You know, I had to really step out my, my comfort. Like, comfort you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Like, it was something. Do you think high stepping helped that? Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, but, yeah. I believe it helped <laughs> a lot of girls. Like, a lot of girls that was, like, really, like, conservative. Mm -hmm. And even, like, they probably, I'm not even trying to say it like that because, like, a lot of people know me and stuff, mm -hmm. but they probably would have never even thought to have a conversation with me or even consider me as a friend before yeah. we became high step for Ain't that crazy? I'm like, bro, I'm really cool and I'm really sweet yeah. and I'm really nice. <laughs> like, I love y'all. Like, I'm yeah. really just come say, like, but I think mm -hmm. high step brought a lot of like different personalities and different people, girls together that still friends to this day. Like, mm -hmm. you, you know, know what's crazy? Okay, no lie. High steppers is like the first time I, that was that that is what introduced me to weave. Sewings, yeah, no lie. no lie. Fun fact. Fun fact. Yeah, you know, I had no idea, and that's why I, I remember used to, when you used to wear your natural hair. You like all the time. Hair. Thank you, love. And so, like, you know, I had someone help me out, and I didn't know what I was doing about all the inches. I was like, what? Twelve fourths? Okay. Okay, this is body weight. Okay, we have all right, and then you know, then it just yeah. Before high steppers, I probably had worn a sewing maybe like once or twice, and it was for like homecoming. Mm -hmm. Before then, I never wore makeup. Yeah, we get exactly. with a sewing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. you turned us up. Okay, okay. <laughs> so now you do write all of your music. Yes. What like? What is your strategy? How do you come about like coming up with a song or a verse? Mm, it's kind of weird so like not only do my like my real life experiences like is what I put into my writing mm -hmm. but it's like the way that I write music is I could play like a random song like I go through my instrumentals I just like find something that really touches me and it has to be like within like the first three seconds like as soon as I first heard the first three seconds and it touches me and it's like it just comes like I'll start like freestyling okay. like a chorus or something that but it has to be connected to the music you know so mm -hmm. like if it's like more of a mellow tone, it'll make me feel, you know, really like emotional or something, you know what I'm saying? Like in tune with my feelings, I'm like, oh, I may want to cry a little bit or like, you know, talk about how angry I was at this time. But then if it's like yeah. an upbeat song, it's going to make me feel good. So it's like, I want to write a song that makes me feel good. Makes you, know? you feel good. Okay. So it's really just like, however, that, that, that beat is what you feel at that moment. 
Mm -hmm. If it make you up and make you down, that's how you come about writing your song. Because, mm -hmm. like, normally, like, I do poetry, too, a little bit. Mm -hmm. So, like, sometimes if I don't really have music, I just really want to, like, have an outlet. I'll just pull out my diary and just start, like, going. Just going to and I may, like, take that. You know, make it Okay, okay. So, just naturally write music. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Like, <laughs> so, you just, uh, yeah. Okay, for real. Because some people, you know... They get you don't ever get writer's block and stuff, or do you? Mm, I think I only get writer's block if I think too hard. You know what I mean? Okay, if and I, that's probably what every, why everybody gets writer's block. Yeah, they think because too hard. you're trying or they to. they just get stuck in that one spot. Mm -hmm. If you ever get stuck in that one spot where you're just like, I don't know what direction I want to go next with the song. You know, like. That has happened. Okay. That has happened, but it's more so like because I would think like, dang, I don't I, I overthink. Like, I'll say, like, okay, is this going to. I guess are the people gonna like get bored listening up to this point? You know, yeah. or maybe you spark it up a little bit. You yeah. know, so like it's moments like those. But then I always have to remember like I still have to stay connected to the music, or it's like, what's the point? you know, I lost that. You know, I yeah. Keep that. Do you have any other influence, like a family member or anybody that just pushes you to drive you to continue to keep going? Like, kind of like inspiration or a motivational person mm -hmm. that like motivates me. Mm -hmm. Well, also my fiance. He okay. pushes me like all the time. Like even when I doubt myself sometimes or like second guess, like if I may sing something or like I may be like, man, he always like uplifts me. Like he's always the one to be like, girl, you better know you can. Blah, blah, blah. You know you have you. That's good. Like, so he's like, very supportive. Yeah, he's very extremely That's supportive. That's good. So. That's good. So like, do you have a manager? Like, or how does your manager? Or you manage yourself? Like. Yeah, so currently, like, so I don't have, like, official management. Mm -hmm. So, like, I'm working with this guy in Cali who's, well, I have some big news. I don't know if I should say it now. Let me say it. Look at, look at you, like, what? You can say it okay. now or you can say it at the end. <laughs> say it when you mm -hmm. So, how um, is it with performing? Do you get nervous? Like, how is it for you? Not anymore, girl. Let me tell you, I don't know what it is. I think, and, and that's when people ask me, like, who was Zahn? I feel like Zahn is like my alter ego. The person that like okay. I never like was. Like in school I was so shy. Like yeah. when y'all used to ask me to sing, I always would tell yeah, you to turn around. Yeah, you did to be shy. I'd you be like, y'all turn around please? Like I used to be like, okay, give, give, give me like five more minutes. Okay, hold on, let me practice. Like, like y'all make you sing happy birthday to everybody in the locker room. All the room. time. I used to be so nervous, girl. Sorry, bro, I used to be shaking like, oh my God, if you hit one wrong note, they're gonna swear I'm just the worst. <laughs> No, seriously, like, but you know, you had to look like that coming from where we went to school at. Right. They would like, boo the heck out of you. Oh my gosh, like they were show. horrible. Like, on the talent show, my, let me tell y'all something real quick. I was like, bro, I don't know who it was, but I was trying to set the mood. And all of a sudden, I heard somebody say, sing, sing already. And I was like, look at those. I was like, shut up. <laughs> I was like, shut up. I'm trying to set the mood right now. Because Crystal was painting. She was painting. Yeah, I remember I was that. Like, I'm like, you yeah, you killed that. Yeah, you killed that. I appreciate it, girl. I remember that. At the end, everybody was like, ah. I was like, uh, uh -huh, you, you, yeah. yeah, have a seat, yeah, have a seat now, yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Stop here. Let me, let me get in my zone. Right. I'm, the one gotta right. I'm the one got to do this. I'm the one got to do this. Here, you take the mic. So she wanna. Hello. Here, baby girl. <laughs> okay, okay. Positivity. Okay. okay. Yes. Okay. Let me. 2020 out. All right. <laughs> so, all right. All right. She's crazy. <laughs> okay. So, KMO. Yes. What does that mean? KMO is keep moving on. Obviously, so, if you listen to the songs. Yes. So, KMO is like... So, it... <laughs> For real, for real. All right, y'all. So KMO is like basically an uplifting song that I wrote um, based on like, you know, previous experiences and things. And it talks about how one day when you just realize, you know, your worth, you realize self-love, you realize, you know, you deserve better sometimes. And there's other people out there. And that's not the only person. And <laughs> Girl, you know I mean? really, really feel oh, it. You know I'm sorry. Mean? It's but... so like... But for real, and so like I just wanted to. I feel like a lot of women go through that type of stuff, and I feel like there's not enough of those songs. There's not enough it's of not. self love. It's like all it's so the like you know, you know fucking. I can, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm like, like you know, it's you know, like nah, bro. Get all that new money, you know. <laughs> take all his cash. Yeah, cash. you know, like. But then they're like, okay. You how you gonna, how did you get to that point? Exactly. How did you get to that point where I'm gonna just take that other nigga cash because that nigga hurt me before? What? You had to move right. on. You had like, to move on. You so had you had that little process before you became that other person. Mm-hmm. No. And then it's and then like when I talk about like 
like in the chorus basically like this is something i never had the chance to say like i never and that's why i say like azan is like the person i wish i was at the time okay. when i was younger and like more like open with how i felt my emotions you know i was so like i just kind of like got angry and like I would be like, you know what I'm saying? I could be alone and, and deal with it and then yeah. move on. But that's not healthy. Like, mental health is important, guys. Mental health is really important, so. I needed to hear that. Okay. Really? <laughs> I needed to hear that. No, seriously. So, behind yeah. the single, you know, was it something that transpired that you went through that made you write that song? Like, just like wanting to be at peak like a peace of mind you know like because like let me tell you like it's crazy because this lady like right after i recorded the song this this lady heard it um that was at the studio where i was at and she was like girl she was like i don't even know what you're talking about but she was like but i just feel so uplifted she was like i just feel so positive she was like i feel so good yeah that's how i feel when i hear the song yeah. i'm like she's like you could be talking about a whole you know dude like breaking your heart she was like but when i listen to it i just feel happy and i'm yes. like that is that's what i want i want something you can take a, no. a situation and, and bring it up and like make it positive you know what i mean and like that's how i feel when i heard the song girl yes you really like you did that like Thanks, whatever girl, the message that you were trying to give i'm it, honestly genuinely even if i didn't know you like that you mm -hmm. really you Fulfilled that like within the song. Sure. For sure. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. So, what or how do you want to be presented in the mu music industry? Like you know, when you make it, because you will. Yes. How do you want to be presented? You know, like as your aura. You get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. No. Like I want to be presented as like a positive artist, like an artist that promotes positivity and self love and like you know peace of mind, free spirit, happiness, free spirit, like a vibe. Like, I, don't, I want people when they listen to me like that's gonna be their they're out of like that would be okay. there i can put my headphones on or i can clean around my house i can you know ride on a plane or something just something that relaxes you know something that's still mm -hmm. alive something you can feel yeah you know? and i i feel that i feel that i'm just ready for EP or something when people hear a zone or see you perform what do you want them to say it was a vibe it was a, it's a like here i want them to come out my concerts like by the way y'all got a show next month june 28th Oh, that's two days after my birthday, girl. Hey, it's actually Where is it? at the Green Elephant. For real? Mm-hmm. He's doing okay. this big showcase, so um, yeah, he definitely reached out. I thought it'd be dope. So I, I like, definitely gotta go. Yeah, when well, uh, we get more information, I'll send it to you. Bet, yeah. please do, because uh, Lisa Marie TV will be there hey. with some with some behind the scenes coverage. Yes. Okay. No, okay. <laughs> so it's a vibe. That's what you yeah. want people to say. I don't okay, survive, like, like that wow. video. It's Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright y'all, so we back and we finna play a game. Y'all know I made the game 10-5 game. I'm gonna ask her five questions. She got 10 seconds to answer them. Well this in this sense it's gonna be a little bit more than five questions because I got like one question with like three and one question. Anyway, y'all I made the game of y'all will just watch the game. Okay, yes. period. I would say Dreamville and RCA. Those are um okay. Janae. Um, her, sir. Okay. Woo! That's hard, that girl. Ten. Prince. Nine. Anita Baker. Nine. Jill Scott. Beyonce. Uh, um. Three. Ah! Oh, she keeps. Okay. That's a nice little <laughs> matchup. That's a that is so mashup. hard to That's... mesh. Like, every artist into top five. Yeah, but. Your first one was Prince. That's like, yeah. Why? Prince is everything. I actually fell in love with him after watching his movie and seeing him perform and like his story mm -hmm. and the way that he feels the music. Like he that that is what you call like emotion. That's what you call like performance. Yeah, like sound like he. Going it was like he it on purple. Rain. Ooh, ooh, it like touches just like a girl was crying. I wasn't even in the, you know the girl was. I was like I felt that. <laughs> Like, I felt him singing to her, like, in that yeah. part. Like, he was like, do you want him? He was like, do you want him? And I was like, yes, I feel you. Anyway. Who you want? Who, which one? Vacation. Ten. Perry. Right. Why? Easy, That's easy, what you want your Henry to be? Yeah. Really? All my life, I always, I always said that. Isaiah, know what's up. You know, we're going there. Paris. Isaiah, you know what's up? Paris, I mean, like, Perry. Okay. Perry. Okay. Fifth question with a three in one question. So you really technically got five questions, five seconds to answer each one of these. Okay. So Jennifer Hudson versus Fantasia. Five, four, 
I was talking about to go my girl Fantasia. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fantasia soul hey to it. Okay. Kiki Wyatt versus Beyonce. Five, four, Ooh, three, I two, Beyonce. Zero. Say, so, no, but are you being biased right now because it's one of your favorite artists? Yes. Or is it, okay. <laughs> yes, that's the truth. That's why you couldn't answer. Yes, it. because I'm like, dang, now I'm a film. Okay, so you're you. probably thinking as a whole, huh? When you choose, yeah, Beyonce, you're like, thinking of performance, performance and like dancing, okay. the, everything, like the three and one. Yeah, she's, she's a full. She's yeah, yeah. And Kiki's I, like, but I get why you choose that too. Kiki, she's you a know? singer. She's yeah. a singer. You know? yeah. No, no shade to anyone, but oh, yeah. you want to put her in front of the, at the tree, at the oh church, gosh. and she's going to be the least singer at the church, oh, but yeah. I'm going to put her in, so okay, we're getting the coach okay, <laughs> so her or Summer Walker, I think I know the answer to this one, her. five, of course, <laughs> yeah. do you like Summer Walker? I love Summer do Walker, I actually, do you like Little one. Secret, because I really don't like that song, because she really didn't, Little I didn't understand the newest song with her in 21 Savage, Mm -hmm. And they did like Your Mother's the Escape remix. They did a remake of this. I think I heard it, but it doesn't ring a bell. But mm -mm. exactly, <laughs> it was bad. Okay, y'all. So that's the end of the ten five game. See y'all next time yes. on the next segment for the ten five game. But we're not done with the questions. We got like three more questions here, mm -hmm. and then we done. Mm -hmm. And thank y'all for watching this far. Cute. So now we're gonna get to the real. You know the. The questions, you know, about where you want to be, where you want to go in the next couple of years. Yes. What do you see yourself at the end of this year? <clears throat> where I see myself at the end of this year. Because quarantine don't fuck this up, but. Yes, it did. <laughs> um, oh, that goes, that could actually be my spring, a little, a little special moment. Okay, so I have been working with this guy in Cali and, um, we are actually putting together my first EP, so I'm very excited. Yes. So that is what I am will be getting ready to release this year, and I'm actually going to the studio to record the first single that will be released. Yes! I'm excited. What is your five-year goal? My five-year goal is to, after my EP, do an album. Mm -hmm. I would love to perform like main stage is where I'm really kind of wanting to to do like with, within the next like I'm, I mean like BET main stage yeah like, I Festival. get what you're saying when you said like like big so, you know on mm -hmm. like Fox News TV yeah <laughs> so, no, like, seriously I'm, like, I'm really somewhere big that, you know yeah, like I'm really trying to do that within the next five years and really like be able to put myself I see it you okay. know on and like out there and so um, that's my goal it's definitely invest Thank you. Invest, invest in yourself. Um, never be afraid to do that because that was what I had to do to kickstart my future career. What I'm trying to do, I had to save money to be able to pay for studio time, Thanks. and mix and master, and things like that. That's for everything. Mm -hmm. And I would say staying consistent and um, just finding a loyal team. So. Okay, so thanks for the advice. Even though I'm not trying to be a singer, <laughs> the same advice that I need because I'm yeah, doing you know. No, thanks. So. Mm -hmm. I'm going to drop her YouTube down there and Ooh, her Apple now. Music and everything yes. like that. This is Azan. Yes. She has her single KMO. Check it out. Okay, it's out there. So. Thanks. And I thank you for coming. Yeah, thank you. Her. And it's raining. And she it's still like came, y'all. So, I love her for that. <laughs> yes, yeah, my girl, y'all. We've so. been, we're going to be back. Yes. a couple's edition because she is engaged. So I definitely want to get in that business. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Because you know, right. I already did my couple's edition already with Ashley and Yes, Dave, so that was so cute. I'm going to so do cute. a couple's edition with her and Isaiah. Yes, we and love to do that. Maybe like a, ooh. Maybe like a, because uh, he be painting stuff. We can do like a little session mm. or something. I'm going to come up with something. I'm going to come up with something. But yeah, so thank y'all again for tuning in. Thank you guys. It's Lisa Marie TV with Azad. Yes. And y'all tune in yeah. to the next episode. Whenever that's going to be and whatever that's going to be. Yeah, subscribe to her channel, y'all. We out here supporting each other. So y'all yeah. support, share, all that. Up on a Sunday, looking at the smoke rising. You said I'll be
you're crying, but no, and I see you must have lost your 